What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Don't have no handouts. Need to sell some junk? Pay the Daisy's discounts. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Perfect. Smell that? That's freedom. Running from something? Welcome home. <laughs> you step through the gate, you got balls. Paying customers Excuse up. me, miss. Hmm? Now, what's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I'm not a big fan of jazz. Well, shame. But that's all I ever sing here. Good neighbor inspires a certain kind of music. Now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, that's it. You have that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Oh, I woke up here. Just me, my underwear, and regret. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so... Here we are. Was there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it? Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Come on. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? You really want to know? It's all in the songs. Everything I am. Now, can I help you with anything else? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. Nothing. I'll leave you to it. You have a good one. Hey. Peace, hmm? brother. Hey, Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. I was just wondering where you and I stand. Blue, I'm on cloud nine. 
Things couldn't be better. And that's all thanks to you. Your thoughts? Taking down that courser went about as well as could be expected. Now we just have to find someone to decode that chip. That's all for now. All right. Hey. Hell of a load you're carrying. Hey, Charlie. Better sell Order up. Daisy I'm forever hold your damn mouth shut. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't bother tipping. I'm already overcharging you. Now that you're licked up, got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. The old warehouse, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. Don't worry. I'll know when it is. I don't do work unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not like it's a big secret who I represent. Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. Two fifty. Too low. Barely covers the risks. All right, Gov. Three hundred. More money, Charlie. Giving me a right kick in the Alberts. We'll make it four hundred, but that's as high as I'm going. I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Anything I can do? You just say the word. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you <clears> up. <throat> You'll find I'm very persistent. Okay, let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Hey. Yes? Huh? Don't have no handouts. That's it. Getting rained on over here. One piece. Gonna do you up and spit on your paw. Put the. They got the drop on us. Blue, we're not alone. There you are. Wish it hadn't come to that. Hey, something's out there.
I look like a bartender? Taking trouble someplace else. I think Whitechapel Charlie's got some work if you're looking. He's down in the third rail. Yeah? Huh? You step through the gate, you got balls. You're lucky the mayor likes outsiders. for every means a lot to me Daisy you're bad. Can't get enough looks of this lovely figure of mine. <laughs> no? <laughs> Guess you'll just have to shop then. Let's see what you got. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't.
looking to stock up on general equipment, you can hit Daisy's discount. Keep your hands where I can see them. Hey, you. We need the key. Hey, you. Looking for work? What kind of work? It's good work. Under the supervision of the best boss you'll ever have. If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? I'm gonna need more to go on here. There's a project I'm working on. A big one. One that could get me into lots of trouble if the wrong person finds out. So little discretion is called for. I got a delicate house of cards going here, you know? You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. This is just a bad deal. Ah, uh, you're killing me here. One fifty to start. Still not good enough. Two hundred. And that's as high as I go. <laughs> Jeez. I gotta watch out for this one. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. We ain't the only friends of AJ here. You follow? Uh. <clears throat> AJ's connected with powerful friends. Don't be a sap. Be nice. Too close, Mr. Top Guy.
Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Please gives me the creeps. This is private property. Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to... He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. The stuff in here is older than you, Blue. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Uh, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? You're implying there was a lost alien civilization on Earth in prehistoric times? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures, Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a... facility... north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I was all set when I walked in here. Well then, get going already. Place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. 
Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're gonna finally get rid of them. Excuse me. Just don't bring any trouble down on us. Got it. Ugh! <laughs> 
Hey. Point the way. Sure, take a peek. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do so you know did you find out what happened no, to the courier? Your sister mean... is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward? Hardly Paul worth my time. Just a few raiders who ambushed Edward him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses the stuff to go in off here's without older than you, Blue. Anyone, that's her business. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. We've been over this, Mother. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last You're delivery really from Parsons. Like Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh... A little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone. But I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there. The third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? No way to pick this. Oh. This doesn't feel like a trap at all. Uh. <clears throat> ah, you're back. Do you need something? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city, buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert, millennia older than the earliest human civilizations but with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries, tools not made for human hands, carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. You said your father found a lost city? Yes, he spent years looking and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, 
I suppose that may be true. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Was there anything else? How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Come on. The war was 200 years ago. You know your history. Most people don't grasp how long ago the war really was. One of the effects of my father's <coughs> illness was a slowing or arresting of the aging process. So, yes, he is well over 200 years old, as you suspected. Was there anything else? Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Are we done? I've got to get going. All right. If you wanted to make me a second printing press while you're at it... Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Hey, stay free, man. Hell of a load you're carrying. Thank you. Hey, Charlie. Hey, a bit faster tempo to keep you shot. smiling and on your toes. I'll be right back. Yo, do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Charlie. You're becoming quite a regular. Well, the beer still tastes the same. Like shit. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia. The flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you're gonna order? Gonna pass. Uh, not like you could handle it. Hey. Hello again. Something I can do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Mmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. 
I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. What's she doing here? Is she a member of your movement? Actually, she and I are... you know... romantically involved. Not that it's any of your business, but... she and I are just having a little... relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I killed the last guy who was running this scam, in case that matters to you. Whoa! You really want to head down this route? Uh, good, good to know. Let me just unlock the door for you, okay? Be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raider's got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Might be a while till the next show. We don't have anything to talk about. 